Hello, Ivy. We're going to introduce the new credits and retainers function that you can use on your projects on Ivy. If we click on credits and retainers, we can set up a new retainer request, and then we can go ahead and use these retainers to pay for open invoices on our system. As you can see, I already have one retainer for time billing that the client has paid, but let's request a new one. Maybe this time it will be for product. Let's say the client gave me a $10,000 budget or a $10,000 retainer for product, and I want to go ahead and save the request. So here we see uh, a document that looks a lot like an invoice. We can go ahead and send this to our client to pay, or if they already sent us a check, we can go ahead and click Add New Payment. As you can see, the $10,000 amount is already pre-filled for you. You choose check, give it the reference number of the check, and go ahead and create the payment. Now, if we want to use this retainer, we can go into our Invoices tab and find an open invoice. Let's say this one. As we can see on this invoice, this was all for time billing. And so I actually want to use my time billing retainer and apply it to this invoice to mark it as paid. We'll choose payment method, which will be apply retainers. And here I have the two retainers that I can apply to this invoice, the product one we just set up together for $10,000 and the time billing one I had earlier set up for $5,000. We can see that this invoice is $950. So I'm going to pay it in full using the retainer and click on create payment. Now, we can see the applied retainer of time billing was $950. And if we go back to the credits and retainers tab, we're going to see that the time billing has $4,050 left on it because $950 of it has been applied. So here's our total retainer balance, which are these two retainers, minus the applications. Now, what about credits? Let's say you have an invoice that your, that your client already paid, but afterwards that you decided that you're not going to necessarily use one of the products on the invoice. Instead of giving them a refund, many times we want to hold that as a credit so we can put it toward future invoices instead of constantly refunding our clients. So let's say we go into this one. Here we see we've got two pillows, and this invoice has been fully paid, and we can see that the check that it paid um, was for $348. But let's say they decided they didn't want sky blue and they only wanted one of the lavender pillows. So we would click on edit and we would go ahead and delete the sky blue item. We click OK. And now we're going to click on save. Now it prompts you and says we're going to reduce the invoice by $174.15 and this is going to create a credit. So we're going to click OK. Now, if we look at the invoice details, we see that the original payment was $348.30. The amount applied was now for only one of the pillows, which is $174.15. And the amount credited from this invoice is half of that because we took off half of the invoice. So again, if we go back into our credits and retainers tab, we're now going to see that this original payment of $348.30 has only been partially applied and we have a remaining credit of $174.15, which makes up our available client credit balance at $174. And of course, we can still maintain our retainer balance over here. This is how the system works. Enjoy.